Hello guys, my name is Massimiliano and I'm the CEO of Metabob. We're an AI-assisted tool that helps developers cut debugging and technical depth in half. Our team consists of experts in the AI and NLP space. With over 40 published papers in the code fault detection area, two prior exits, many are experienced in leading AI generations for companies like Microsoft, Panasonic, and more than anything, a great passion for open source development. As our founding team actually met working on an open source project with the goal of identifying the likelihood of a code change and a code commit to have to be revised over time due to not meeting project expectations. We also have many years of mental breakdown for debugging and refactoring, as debugging is by far the most time-consuming and challenging aspect of every software developer day to day. As engineers spend more than half of the day looking for bugs, which costs their company an astonishing average of $160 per hour per developer. In the US alone, the cost of technical debt is over $1.5 trillion, which is roughly 5% of USA and European Union GDP. Debugging is not going anywhere. In fact, despite 60% of newly developed code is now written by AI and LLMs, in 45% of cases, code generated by AI actually contain logical bugs and security vulnerabilities. And LLMs as a whole are not well suited when it comes to debugging and refactoring due to their limitation in properly construct context within the code, their highly sensitivity in user-given input, and inability to connect problems to relevant contextual information. LLMs are made to generate, not to analyze. And by themselves, they're not able to find logical or runtime problems in code. Here comes Metabob. Our tool, our tool is currently the only one in the market that is able to detect and fix logical and runtime errors in code, effectively bringing dynamic results to historical analysis. Our tool is very easy to use. You can find us on VS Code, free of charge. It can also be run very easily on-prem, limited resources for enterprises or for uh, government agencies, and it can also be trained on your own code base. We're able to do that thanks to our award-winning technique that got, again, awards from USA, Asia, that combine graph neural network to LLMs, as GNN is the perfect complements to LLM weaknesses as it provide additional contextual information. Thanks to our technique, we're able to analyze the full scope of the projects. We're also able to understand how data flow through the projects and target key problematic areas and pull that can reach context and understand, like, uh, match it with, again, key problematic area and then send it to LLMs to then create human readable text for problem description and problem recommendations to automatically fleece, fix the errors we detect. Our journey started about a year ago, where we launched our VS Code extensions. We were one of the fastest developer tools to reach over 50,000 active users. In just a month, we got our first paying customers, Infosys. And in just a few months after that, we now have over $300,000 in ARR from top Fortune 500 companies, government agencies, Department of Defenses. And uh, with the current customers, but within the next 12 months, we will already have 2,500 licenses, accounting to over a million dollars in ARR. And we're getting through our bottom-up approach of our, a lead every couple of weeks from Fortune 500. We are currently targeting three core verticals, finance, manufacturing, and defense, mainly due to the fact that fatality of software failures in those verticals are extremely crucial and risky, and to the fact that they have a lot of legacy code base, which is a perfect use case for us. What we strongly believe is in the near future, AI will completely impact the development landscape. Right now, companies are relying more and more on automation and AI to write code. Therefore, developers are completely changing what they're doing for their company. And their skill set now is moving from writing code to instead um, structural engineering and also um, like using and reviewing AI code. And our tool is perfect for auditing AI agents and uh, to pr uh, make sure that we preserve user um, and developer given input. We are Metabob. Let's make the debugging easy. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Oh. Thanks, Massimiliano. Exciting technology. Sounds super amazing. Um, could you explain a little bit, um, especially you're targeting those industries that have very large code bases. So how do you actually ensure that your technology is able to take into account the full code base in very complex projects? But there's yeah. been many attempts to what you're building in the past, and this has been one of the bottlenecks. So how have you solved this bottleneck? Yes. So it's really about like our core technology. So we worked many years before starting the company. Uh, we were working at a lab 
specifically targeting these issues. And as I say, like, what we strongly believe is like LLMs alone are not able to find and to be able to account into like and understand the entire context of large code bases. That's why we combine it with the GNN. That the main role for it is like again, be able to understand the reason of code changes. So we train it initially in open source, um, like code changes and understanding to again why code changes have occurred. And over time, we now train it on company code base as well. So thanks to that, uh, the GNM per se is able to provide additional context to LLM to then be able to find, we specifically focus on race condition, edge cases, all type of logical issues that currently rule-based static analysis tool or LLMs are not able to find alone. And so really to answer your question, the combination of our two techniques is what made us possible to, to do that. And uh, another value of it is the fact that it can be run on-premise because our model is much smaller than an LLM alone, so it can be easily be deployed in the company architecture. Hey, thank you so much for the pitch. Um, if I would ask you what this company would be in 10 years, yeah. walk me through the vision, and as a subsequent question, what are the key hypotheses that have to work out in order for this to get really big? Yes, that's a great question. So uh, I was a bit late, but I was talking about actually our vision and what we've seen the future of development. As we all see, like now AI is taking over. More and more companies are using LLMs to write code and just overall to like maintenance, task generation. However, what, like the problem with LLMs, again, is like they're good to generate code. But when it comes to design and structural uh, architecture, they are not extreme, they're not well suited for it, right? So that's where we want to fit into that. The first step of the development is to understand, which is also the most challenging part, is to understand how to structure an application, right? And the design application itself. That's where we want to be, the very first step. And then send that information to LLMs to just generate the code for it. Now, on the other end, again, right now everyone's talking about Cursor, obviously Devin, Copilot. Uh, I was expecting a question, actually, but um, obviously those are LLMs-based tool. And uh, what they're doing, they create code, which, again, is created by a LLM, but they're also reviewing their own code, right? So that's what I mean here by impartial validation. You need a tool that has additional contextual understanding to be able to validate unbiasedly the code generated by LLMs. So that's where we want to stand for. And uh, when it comes to um, the, the, the second question, which is like, what are the hypotheses we're testing? Obviously, from a technical standpoint, we're, working, we're building many case studies with customers. So uh, another advantage of our model is be able to train it on their all code base. When it comes to legacy code, obviously there is not much open source data. So we have a general model on VS Code, but also for each enterprises, we provide the opportunity to train the model on their code annotation. And so we're currently testing those by providing case study. Initial results are amazing. Uh, we have some uh, customer quotes that, uh, um, again, we really reduce over 80%. But uh, really, in terms of our pipeline now, working on supporting more languages, creating more general model, and be able to train on as many code bases as possible, really. All right, our time is up. Thanks a lot, Masi. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh.